Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will compare transformations that preserve distance and angle to those that do not. Let us first see the meaning of rigid and non-rigid transformations. Now rigid transformations are those transformations that do not change the shape and size of a figure. For example, in translation, we only move the figure to a different position. Its shape and size remains same. Thus, it is a rigid transformation. And now let us discuss non-rigid transformations. Now these are the transformations which do not preserve size or shape of the figure. For example, in dilation, a figure is either enlarged or contracted like we enlarge a given triangle to form this bigger triangle by dilation and here the size of the figure is changed thus it is a non-rigid transformation and now let us discuss isometry now a transformation of a plane is isometry if the distance between any two points in the original figure is the same as the distance between their corresponding images in the transformed figure. That is, if A and B are two points in the original figure and their respective images are A dash and B dash then distance between A and B that is distance AB is equal to distance between a dash and B dash that is distance A dash B dash now see this figure here A dash B dash C dash D dash E dash F dash is transformed image of this original figure now here you can see that distance AB is 3 units and its corresponding images, that is images of A and B are A dash and B dash respectively and distance between A dash and B dash is also 3 units. Similarly, all the other sides have same distance in their transformed image. Thus, these two images are isometries. Thus, isometries are rigid transformations. Now, if any two images are rigid or isometric, then they will always be congruent. And these are also called congruence transformations. Now we know that congruent images are those images 
whose corresponding angles and sides are equal. Thus, isometries always preserve distance and angle measure. Now, translation, reflection and rotation are isometric transformations because the two figures that is the pre-image and image after transformation will be congruent. Now here let us compare rigid and non-rigid transformation. For this let us discuss an example. Now here we have to transform the triangle having vertices minus 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1 and 0 3 using given transformations and compare which of the following preserve distance and which do not. First is given as, that is first transformation is given as xy transformed to x plus 1, y plus 1 and second transformation is given as xy transformed to 2x, y plus 1. Now let us consider these three points. First of all, let us plot these points on the coordinate plane. Now we have plotted all the three points on the graph. Now joining these three points, we get a triangle. Now see the first transformation. Now coordinates of vertices of original figure are minus 2 minus 1, 1 minus 1 and 0 3. Now according to the first transformation, the coordinates of transformed figure will be that is coordinates of vertices of transformed figure will be minus 1, 0 then 2, 0 and then coordinates of third vertex will be 1, 4. Now here you can see that coordinates of first vertex of this original figure was minus 2, minus 1 and then after transformation the coordinates of the first vertex of this transformed figure are minus 2 plus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 that is minus 1 0 and similarly we have got the coordinates of other vertices also now let us see this transformation graphically now here in the transformed figure, we are adding 1 to the x coordinate and here again we are adding 1 to the y coordinate. Now let us denote these points as A, B and C. Now as we are adding 1 to the x coordinate, it means vertex A will move 1 unit to the right and then we are adding one unit to the y coordinate also. It means we will move one unit up and we will reach this point. And this point represents A dash with coordinates 1, 4. Similarly, we obtain V dash with coordinates minus 1, 0 and C dash with coordinates 2, 0. Now, joining all these points, we get a triangle A dash, B dash, C dash and this triangle 
that is the triangle A dash B dash C dash is the image of the triangle ABC after the given transformation. Now here we see that distance AB is equal to distance A dash B dash which is equal to 3 units. Now here we see that distance BC is equal to distance B dash C dash which is equal to 3 units. Similarly, distance AB is equal to distance A dash B dash then distance AC is equal to distance A dash C dash. Now here, both figures are triangles and having same distance between the points in the image as well as in the pre-image and also they are having same angles. Thus, the given transformation in part 1, which is a translation, preserves distance and angle measure well, let us start with the second transformation now we know that coordinates of vertices of original figure are minus 2 minus 1 then 1 minus 1 and then 0, 3 and then the transformation is given to us as 2xy plus 1 that is the coordinates of the transformed figure will be of the form 2xy plus 1 now let x be minus 2 and y be minus 1 so the coordinates of first vertex of transformed figure will be 2 into minus 2 and minus 1 plus 1 that is minus 4 0 similarly we have got the other vertices that is the coordinates of other vertices of this transformed figure now let us plot these vertices on coordinate plane. So we have the following graph after this transformation and the new image is A dash, B dash, C dash. Now here you can see that distance BC is equal to 3 units but distance B dash C dash is 6 units so there is a horizontal stretch and the size of triangle has increased so the distance is not preserved in this transformation so we can say first transformation is a rigid transformation and second transformation is non-rigid transformation thus we see that rigid transformations preserve congruence but non-rigid transformations do not preserve congruence so in this session we have discussed transformations preserving distance and angle measure. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.